Now, I'm well aware that you just want to get on to seeing a bit of Digger Carnage. And don't worry, that is coming in a second. But I do need to explain what I'm doing. So there's the plot, there's the site, and you can see the yellow L shape, which is what we're going to dig out. But the way I'm going to approach it, here's the plot here, here's a cross section of it. Now, the woman figure you see there, imagine she is standing at the sandbank. That is the very lowest point that I need to dig down to. Now, I can't dig straight down. I can't dig trenches down to that because if you look at the right hand side at the highest point of the slope, that is slightly over two meters deep. So if you think just digging a narrow trench for the purposes of concrete and block work, that's just not going to work. So we're going to have to do it in layers. So as well as having to excavate down to where the top of the concrete is there, we're also going to have to dig down and bank up where the footpath is. Remember, I've never really used a digger before and it's a massive excavation. Let's crack on. This is what I've been working on for about the last hour. So this is sort of what I might call, I probably should put terms for this, but this is like tier two. And tier two is supposed to go down about, I mean, it, about 70, 80 centimeters, I said, to be honest with you, it doesn't matter if it's a meter or not. Um, at the minute, this is about at the, at the point of the cut there, that's about 80 centimetres. Now, I've got to take that all the way back. I mean, not quite to where the digger is, but not far off it. So there, there's a lot to come out. So I don't want to go any deeper than that. I just want to start taking it back now. OK, so work goes on digging out what we're calling tier two. Now, at this point, I think I was expecting to be about 120, 130 centimetres from the bottom where the foundations are going to go. I've just done a bit of a test here and I have to say we're a lot further away than I thought we were going to be. A bit annoying that. So that takes us to the end of day two. I've now realised I've got to dig out a lot more than I thought I needed to dig out. But the other problem that I'm ignoring is that there's a big tree stump right in the middle of the site and it's in the way. So the battle of the tree stump will commence tomorrow. And this will take me quite close to a point where I think I might have to abandon the project. Anyway, that's coming up next. Hope to see you then. If you could like the video, I'd really appreciate it. And if you could subscribe, then that means you get to see the next parts as they come up.